Rise and shine, porcupines, it's your girl, young show, need to be anything you feel like calling me because, man, welcome back to the show. Welcome back to the channel, man. It's been a minute since I picked up this camera, since I've been recording videos, since I did anything because, man, I didn't have a terrible couple weeks, like, the last couple weeks I didn't been through is crazy. Like, I couldn't get my life together. My health was deteriorating. My cat keep attacking me. Like, look, look at my hands, bro. Like, all these scratches on my hands. Like, literally, I cannot. <laughs> I cannot win. But scratch all that. Your girl back, man. And I'm going to tell y'all exactly how everything was for me, man. But today, I got a busy day. Today, I'm going to be outside. And today, y'all, it, it, it's just some emotional stuff going on. But I'm going to let y'all know what all that is. But I just had to come say rise and shine good morning because we are all blessed to see another day. Because no days are granted to anybody. So if this y'all first time coming across my channel, check this out, man. Hit the subscribe button, like this video, and don't forget to share. Because sharing is caring. Like, if y'all didn't know growing up in elementary school, your teacher told you, sharing is caring. Your mama told you, sharing is caring. So please, share my videos. So, yeah, man, let me go on here, brush my teeth, you know, get ready put myself together and y'all come with me today because man today is gonna be legendary because i'm finally back on the camera i feel so excited and i also i ain't gonna lie i kind of feel weird because you know as you get in the routine and it kind of like stop you got to get back into the getting to so this is what we about to do so see y'all in a minute <laughs> y'all so i'm back man i'm sorry for rushing through that intro like i did but man like i said i'm in a busy busy morning it's already been a couple hours since i did the intro and i'm still on the move like i finally stopped by my favorite place to get one of my favorite coffees you know what i'm saying i'm sitting at mcdonald's drive through right now because for some reason they slower than ever this morning but man it's been it's been so much that's been going on these past couple weeks on why I haven't posted, why I haven't really been on social media like that. And <clears throat> I don't really like talking about it because, you know, I'm still young. You know, I'm still in my groove with things. And I'm still, you know, outside being active. So for something like this to happen to me, it's like, you know, it kind of it threw me off balance. It threw me off my rocker, but it also put life in perspective for me. It put life in a big perspective, like, because you, you never think anything helpful ever happened to someone who's young, who's out living life and doing their thing, you feel me? So, hold on. It's like, it, it, it's just mind-boggling. So, to tell y'all what happened. I was in the hospital, y'all. I was in the hospital. They had to rush me to the emergency room. I have something crazy going on in my stomach called colonitis. If y'all ain't never heard what that was, so colonitis is the inflammation of your colon which can cause acute pain and suffering to your insides and make you feel like you about to die you can't breathe you can't move you can't walk so basically that's what that is so yeah i was in the emergency room for over seven hours getting IVs, pump test runs, all type of things. Just scared for my life because when it first happened, I thought it was like maybe like a stomach bug. It wasn't nothing too serious. I didn't, you know, really take it serious. You know, I'm still eating, still doing things, still going to work. But one day, y'all, one day, I woke up and I couldn't, and like it was in the middle of the night. Like I woke up and when I say the pain just shot through my stomach and I didn't know what to do. I couldn't sleep. I couldn't lay down. I, I was like, I'm sitting on the toilet butt naked because I didn't know what else to do. Like, 
actually sitting up was the only thing that gave me a little comfort. So <clears throat> I was making hot water. He was putting hot water bottles on my stomach just to give me something. But I still didn't go to the doctor. Man, I was at home by myself and I thought I had to use the restroom, you know, because your stomach, you know, you have stomach problems. I thought I had to use the restroom and when I say I blacked out, from the pain being so crazy because you know i know a lot of people have these issues when they try to be a warrior to or i can handle the pain look i couldn't handle the pain and i blacked out i literally had to be rushed to the emergency room because if i wouldn't went to the emergency room ain't no telling what would have happened it had got that bad because untreated colonitis is it can rupture your whole stomach which is your intestines your large intestines is basically your colon basically if people didn't know that not to say y'all don't know that but for the people who don't know that the people in the back who really weren't paying attention in science class and biology this for y'all <laughs> the colon is basically your large intestines so man when i say that was the scariest situation i've had to deal with all my life i've never had a health scare i've never really been in a hospital so for me actually being in the hospital having to put the gowns in the in the ivs on it was like an eye opener it also put me in a funk like dang like i'm gonna have to change my whole life around i'm gonna have to eat different do all that so today y'all i'm going to the i'm going back to the doctor excuse me and that's one reason why I had to stop and get my coffee one more time <laughs> before I get this bad news. Now I know a lot of people gonna be on me, but like, if you know you got this, why you why you drinking coffee? It's because I'm really trying to change my life around. But my doctor told me as long as I do it in moderation, and it's really been almost a month and a half since I had a coffee, which is why I I just want one before I do this little detox that I'm about to do, y'all. And you know. I've been doing a lot of research on this detox about how it's going to help all my bodies, my minerals, especially my colon. And I'm trying to detox my colon, trying to cleanse it out and just try to do something that's going to help me in the long run. So this is for all my young people who still in their 20s, who still out there flourishing, eating, drinking and doing all this stuff way too much. Learn how to moderate your uses. Learn how to do everything, but do it in an enjoyable way. I'm trying to be the example. Don't do it. Listen to me. As a young person who outside trying to party, who trying to live life, do everything in moderation. Don't drink too much. Don't eat too much fast food. Don't be outside going crazy on these special activities. You know, pop the perk 30 and all that please take care of yourself love yourself and yes i am going to document my uh journey through this whole situation because man it is crazy like i really want to help young people understand that you ain't got to be old no more to be having all these problems man and me being from a small town i really thought like me being a young age i thought i was invincible i thought couldn't even touch me i thought like I could really be outside and, you know, not take care of myself, but it's a true wake-up call. So, I appreciate everybody for watching this video, for asking where I was, you know, one or two of y'all. Everybody else, man, this is y'all first time coming across the channel. It's going to be some content, some helpful content, some enjoyable content, because, you know, I'm making everything fun. Now, you know, we ain't going to be boring on the health stuff. I'm not now the science guy. This is Antony V, and I'm coming back with some real stuff. So, man, to next video, man, stay tuned, because this is a big continue. Stay tuned.